And I stopped at Port of Subs expecting to get inter internet, but it's not standard with all Port of Subs. So that was an accident. I've had a good experience with other Port of Subs. Oh no. There is so much moisture, I turned on the heater and I got fogged up here. All right, I'm, I'm not too thrilled about this area. I think I'd like to just push on through, get my. Get those Olympic rings and, and possibly just get out of this, get to the outskirts somewhere, somewhere not north, north Vegas. Okay, I was already yelled at by a black lady for using the sink at Terrible's gas station, which is coming up here. I'll just, uh, I'll be pulling up to it. Oh, jeez, so much garbage. I gotta take a left here. All right, it's got to move my bowl behind. Oh, jeez! It looks like I can go. Yeah, this is Terrible's. I was just using the water refilling my my jug, and the lady's like, "I got to do that in the bathroom." Um, what a policy! It's it's pretty ethnic around here. It's definitely. I'm hearing the I'm hearing the slang from the black people, and quite a few black people. So, it's, I'm glad I came in while it's raining, keeping the, maybe keeping a lot of people in, indoors hopefully, while I just pass right on through. Yeah, it's around the Air Force Base too, we got Nellis Air Force Base not far, in fact I'm, I'll be getting closer going down Nellis Boulevard, gotta take a ride at Nellis Boulevard, and and then a left somewhere. I don't Craig. I gotta take a left on Craig. So yeah, on Craig there's those there's the rings. They'll be right after the highway. Uh, get those, go to Walmart, park there, walk to the library, because the library is only like a block away. Even in the rain, that's fine. I just wanna gauge Walmart. I bet it's I bet it's uh, got some rules. I'm not thinking that North Vegas is a good spot to be hanging out. It's not not a recreational not a recreational spot. It's where people just get business done and get out. I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I set up the Amazon Dropbox for North Vegas, North La, North Las Vegas. I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. North seemed like the closest, so what the heck, you know, check it out. But it may not, it may not be so desirable to uh, to hang out around here. I'm glad, I think Vegas is a little smaller than Salt Lake City. So it's, it should should be easier. This, this In fact, this road isn't even as busy as any road in, in Salt Lake. Okay. Saipan? Sloan? Yeah, very ethnic around here. Alright. So wherever that's... I think my blue dot should be following. Nah, maybe not. It could have located me at McDonald's for a while. Um, coming up. Oh, it is following me, as it should be. So in Vegas, the blue dot's following me, in North Vegas, and yeah, I want to take a, a right coming up here. It's, yeah, it's spread out. Things are nice and spread out around here. That's pretty good. Things are a little further apart from each other. They're not really packing them in. Yeah, La Mexican discount. There's, yeah, it's a mix, it's a mix. Christy, okay. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention like I should. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, a little further down. So this, this arrow light for shifting that I need to, says that I need to shift, it's, it's uh, flashing. Even when I don't need to shift. That might be an indicator for an engine problem in some way. I just... 
I can't really pinpoint exactly what's going out until it goes out. It's really hard to, hard to say because the performance seems okay. Uh, Nellis, yes. Nellis taking a right on Nellis and then a left a left on like Craig East yeah left on Craig probably probably should turn my my lights on it's a little darker I don't know it's midday though uh, okay he's turning Um, it's unclear what the deal is. Uh, I suppose I can go. They're waiting. The arrow is green for those guys on the other side, so. Yeah. This gives me some good clear clearance. Alright, so I'll get in the left lane on this three lane road and then look for Craig off of Nellis, why is my my map likes to darken up a little more than I care for? Oh man! All right, so there's there's a lot of stopping ahead and and going, stopping and going, but it's it's a pretty pretty clear road. Heading further north in North Vegas. I just I think I'd like to try to stay a night at the Walmart in North Vegas. It's a Walmart and it looks like look where I'm heading. I'm heading further north in a considerable distance. So maybe it's not so bad further north. Things are really well spread out around here. Okay, people own large tracts of property. There, a lot of storage-looking types of yeah construction. So it does. And Walmart likes to build their businesses on the outskirts more so. There is a library though, not far from Walmart. So it must have some significant population if they're going to put a library at the end. Yeah, things are well spread. There's a garbage company. This area, maybe it's not so bad. Just pushing, since I have a car, pushing to the outskirts might be a little more desirable. There's uh, the palm trees with the fan fronds. There's, there's kind of a mix, I guess, with fan fronds and, and linear. Feed and farm. Okay, a little farming. Yeah, there's an accident up here. So driving in this water rain is is uh, going to be challenging with these with the people who probably aren't familiar with much rain. City of no rain. Three ambulances. No, two ambulances and one fire truck. Okay. So what is there? Blood and guts hanging out. Yeah, one cop car. Slowing down the lane. Uh, it wasn't reported on Google Maps. It happened so fast. It has to really be a major blockage for Google Maps to pick it up. Google Maps can be a little slow sometimes. Happy her. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh no. It's... Well, okay. Yeah. I never seen. Uh, a gambling area in in uh, Albertsons before but they have it and there were people there like three or four people gambling on those slot machines at Albertsons it's like a lot of these a lot of these places actually have people using the slot machines so people really do have have a liking for that for the gambling people will will uh, gamble quite a bit around here. That's amazing. 
so you build it and they will come type of thing. If you wanna if you wanna satisfy your gambling addictions, Nevada is the place to do it. They'll have it everywhere. The way it looks. I wonder what else they loosen up. They seem to be pretty strict on marijuana still. Washington beat them to the punch on recreational weed. So Nevada's not that not that uh, loose on a lot of things. Oh, another McDonald's. I was just at the McDon a McDonald's at Terrible's where I got yelled at by that black lady. There's a McDonald's attached to it. Okay, so left will be coming up. Oh man, it is pretty ethnic around here too. It's it's not far from the military base, which can be kind of bad. It's an Air Force base, but it still it doesn't it doesn't exactly seem to matter. Okay, whether whatever kind of air, uh, military base it is, you're, you could still have ethnic problems uh, near army, near air force. It doesn't matter because when I was in Shreveport, it, there were some bad neighborhoods. They just flat out advise you do not enter these neighborhoods which I did on the in the early morning time on my bicycle and it looked fine people sleep in a lot in the ethnic zones you could be safe in the morning I'm, I'm guessing but what is it like at night well it's raining but it's gonna be it's gonna stop tonight uh, but eh, it'll be wet still and it won't it'll pick up rain tomorrow so people might anticipate more rain coming maybe it'll be pretty quiet I just have to see what signs well regardless of the signs I still wanna <clears throat> I still might want to take the chance to sleep in there it's not so much the Walmart signs as it is it is as it is my fear of of uh, people harassing me in some way yeah, it's it's picking up in population. There is a little section then between where I left and, and here that was a little more wide open, but eh, no, nah, the whole area is looking pretty. I mean, there was two plots of land that looked open. There's some homeless people, wow, trying to keep dry. Craig, that's my turn. They like got a permanent structure. That's a that's a permanent homeless area right there. And they're just trying to keep dry. They got three days of this. Which, it's it's maybe not so bad. You just gotta wait it out. Tough it out. It'll stay dry most of the year. You could think that. Think, think positive thoughts. All right. So, coming up on my turn, alright, and just want to be prepared for it, Cannery Casino, yeah there's actually some gambling museums that sound interesting, but if they're going to cost money, I really don't have the money for that, I'll just see what I could look at for free when I, went, when I enter and they start telling me to leave record what I can what I can get a lot of times they like to protect everything on the front sometimes they'll give you a little taste of the free stuff I like it when they give the free stuff a little taste all right so I got across the highway man this is quite a distance it's still three miles from the Amazon lockbox to to the um, the Walmart, so really covering a lot of distance here. Beating, wearing away at my poor car. I'm I'm uh, more inclined to use my car in the rain too. Not so interested in dry dry or uh, getting out in this. I have my Two at large, oh no, do I have to take a right here? Two large umbrellas, I don't want to take a right. 
It looks like I'm forced to take a right. Maybe, maybe that guy can slip by. It looks like he could probably slip. Yeah, he could. But uh, is there another? Yeah, there's another lane. They slipped by. Okay, good. All right. So my dots, my dot. I'm well ahead of. I still. I might be a mile away from that highway still. All right. Let things play out here. Let the lights work. Maybe the main road is the uh, the cross road or something. So, there's a guy eating a sandwich in the rain on the corner talking to a black lady. He looks like he's homeless. Wearing a winter cap in the rain. Yeah, wearing a winter cap in the rain. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Soak up all that rain. Not, these people are not dressed for the rain at all. I was getting some weird looks uh, carrying my umbrella. They're like, who owns an umbrella? in Las Vegas. That's a rare sight. But I, I got those two umbrellas uh, out of Washington and I've yeah, I learned that I, it's best, you know, out of the things I could throw away to make room in my car, my umbrellas are just not an option at the moment. And I don't even think they would be an option when I when I lose my car. I think maybe I'll throw away one and then try to just maintain maintain it as best I can. I keep two because uh, they get wet. I get one wet so I want to grab the other one. Or I just lose one. Like I couldn't find my black one which I was really looking for and settled on my blue one. That's okay. So yeah the highway is quite a ways down. Looks like I, I Oh no, no, it's, it's hard to predict, it's hard to predict. Alright, I go over, I'm going to go over a bridge for this highway. I was thinking I go under. It's hard to predict whether when you go over or under. It's all, it's all up to the, I might want to get over one. I think this, this, uh, it's not clear. It looks like people are able to go straight. Oh my god, don't, oh no, don't force me to take a right. I don't want to take a right. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I left today too, is it's a little flooded right there. I was a little nervous about getting caught in, a, in the flood. Alright, don't force me to take a right, we'll be fine. I don't want to take any rights, just want to go straight. Because I'm, I'm like less than a mile from the Amazon lockbox. And it's, it's picking up. It's really getting a little busier. I was on the outskirts, but now, now I'm getting a little more in a busy, centralized area. Picking up the business. Okay, those guys shifted right, so now it's clear for my lane. Those guys had the intention of going on the highway, heading wherever. I want to get over. And then uh, my blue dot's still following me, so I know where I'm at. It's just a short, short, just, oh, geez. It's a little misty from all this rain. Probably just throwing up all kinds of craziness. Okay, I'm in, getting in the right lane. Uh, I don't want any surprises. Just want to make my right, um, yeah, at these stoplights, possibly. Anywhere around here, I uh, would be fine, I think, at this point. In fact, right here. Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Maybe not. The next right for sure. And I'll get out and just look around for this Amazon drop box. Amazon drop box box Sam's Club uh, okay 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 anywhere uh, anywhere around here this this is gonna be my choice and just anywhere I can find a parking spot I'm willing to walk oh it's a down a ways but uh, whatever I'll take the umbrella 
I'm not going to be driving crazy just to find the perfect spot, even in the rain. This is good enough. So this probably normally didn't get as much runoff as this is right now. The wash trail. And this water is pretty, pretty flooded, causing, possibly causing accidents, very likely it's causing accidents. Okay, so there's supposed to be an Amazon drop box at China Sky. Maybe on the other side. I think I see it. Huh, it's just kind of sitting here, unused. Hello, my name is Janet. Yeah, that's familiar. And then there's a little... Shipping to a locker is simple. Add this locker to your address. Thank you for your order. No, I didn't get any additional cost. Yeah, it makes the guy smile. Great. Okay, CR6EBN, and here it is. Alright, North Vegas, first impressions, I don't really like it, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to sleep in the Walmart parking lots. I walked over to the Home Depot for ideas on this, on the fig rig, and then went over to Walmart to read the signs. The signs has made it look okay. It looked like there might be campers as well staying tonight, but they also have a security patrol. All right, not every Walmart has a security patrol. That's usually a sign of bad news for me. Not too thrilled about that. They do pack them in in North Vegas. Okay, and there it is very ethnic. Okay, so if I oh, what's that? I hear some scratching. So I wanna I wanna take like a left here, um, and then and then uh take a right on Cheyenne which will take me most of the way to the other Walmart and this is just taking a chance I don't know the city I don't know if this other place is any better but I mean there's just so much weird behavior around here so much ethnicity I just and, and the, I really I'm annoyed by those those patrols Oof, that was nasty big dip there those patrols with the flashing lights and they go up and down the parking lot and I don't believe that they would oh that's another nasty one I think my tire actually rubbed on that one Wow what is the speed limit must be like must be like 25 or something so they really enforce the speeds around here because people speed through here they enforce it by putting these those nasty dips. Give you a little shudder if you're trying to speed. That could throw your driving off. But yeah, they they do pack them in here pretty good, and they they have a high security detail, private and and public. I had a, a cop 
as I was walking back to my car in the library lot, I didn't even get into the library lot, a cop pulls into the library and just kind of patrols around. I was, I just walked by and I watched to see if he was going to stop at my car because it was after hours. I don't know if they like, what if they like, start taking down information or what. He drove by my car kind of fast, so maybe he's just checking things out. There's a lot of weird behaviors. He just kind of sat as I was walking by the library. He sat right at the the exits. And he waited a good minute before he took off, so I walked a, quite a ways away from the library as I was waiting for him to leave. So I didn't want uh, to approach him in any way, and especially make it look like I was going to that car in the, in the library lot. It's just, I don't know, it's just my, my personal concerns about attracting that kind of attention. Cheyenne, okay, I want to take a left, or a right on Cheyenne. And it's gonna be like four miles. This this will uh, this will kind of keep me in the city. I won't be driving away from the center. I'll be I'll be skirting around it. But it's it's uh it's not this this uh, Walmart's not too far from the library. I'm not too thrilled about this this uh, this library system in in the Las Vegas because they 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 cut out uh, Hearthstone. So I'm not too thrilled about going back to the North Vegas library as fast as that upload speed is. I'm not I'm not thrilled about the uh, the lack of gaming. And I was in like Las Vegas County, and they they had gr a great system set up up no um kind of north up northeast where they had two two types of internets one for one unfiltered, one filtered, but you get to Las Vegas, it's all filtered. So I was, I was expecting to see, as I was coming in, to see more of that unfiltered, filtered uh, content choice, and that just is not the case. It's Las Vegas County, and the city runs things differently. It's not like the Timberland Library that has a uh, that has a, a control over a very wide area. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Ah, it's too late. Um, I don't even know the speed limit. 50. Oh, no wonder it gave me so much time. Okay, this is the airport on the left. Not much is very visible anyway. But um, past, I go past the, the Los, the, the Los, Las Vegas, Las Los, Las Vegas, uh, air, ma I think the major airport, is it the, in do they have an international airport? Salt Lake does, not every city, not every city does. You think Las Vegas, yeah Las Vegas would have something major, because they fly in functions, it seems. There was, I was just watching a guy's video who went to the uh, deserted city, the ghost Ghost Town, and at night I call it I call it wrong. I think St. Charles, St. Thomas, and uh, yeah, he went to a hacker convention. So uh, people probably fly in for hacker conventions. Maybe hack some airplane tickets. Oh, but North Vegas. I mean, I just I passed by this this black guy once again. You know, I, um. It, on the sidewalk, he was he was coming perpendicular, and and uh, as he was he was following me, but as he, he he just decided to start walking on the road instead, like like following right behind me was uh, beneath him. It was, it was a strange behavior, and it really reminds me of of uh, the uh, the Ferguson issue, incident where the the kid was told to stop walking on the road. <laughs> by the cop, so that's when the altercation started. This guy walked down the road. They do things differently, they're loud, once again, black people, I I really can hear them from long distance, oh it's 50, I'm only going 40. Oh man, I'm gonna get in trouble here. Oh, I really don't like 
um, testing my car like this so much, but uh, just got to stay s safe as possible and get away from the bad areas. Imagine I, yeah, it's like, you know, you could park in a bad area like Mer Meridian where actually people are seem pretty decent, but it's the cops that are dirty. But here, definitely the people seem very dirty to me. I mean, when I pulled into the library at the North North uh, Las Vegas Library, there was there was a a guy I've never seen it before. There was a, a post office truck parked in the parking lot, and then as I was getting ready to go into the library, of this black guy, he he uh, walked out to the car and and then took off. Like he he drove his post office truck. Oh no, where's he drove his post office truck to the library just to do stuff. I don't know if, like, I thought the post office trucks were, were exclusively for mail delivery. Maybe, maybe he was delivering mail at the post, at the library, but he actually parked in a stall. You know, usually these uh, post office workers would park, like, next to the, the library or something. Not so much in the stall. It was really, it's just, I'd say strange behavior. All right. I usually, I usually, I'm used to the, the post office trucks just being like parked on the side of the road or, you know, they're just, they're in and out and they got to park in a way to uh, maximize their speed. And this guy clearly didn't do that. He was, he was just kind of going to the library for something. I would have loved to see what he was doing in there. I'm suspicious it had nothing to do with mail delivery. But I mean, they, they time their workers and, and maybe he's just, he's making good time for them anyway, so maybe that's, maybe it's no problem. It's just, it was strange behavior. There's a, been, I, there's a lot of strange behavior in North Las Vegas. Just the little, little, uh, witnessing that I've seen. Okay, okay, okay. I need to make sure. I need to take like a left. Okay, okay, I'm getting close. I'm a few couple blocks away. I'm looking for a Smith's on the left, and then and then the Walmart will be on the other side from that. So I'm getting f further away from from North Vegas. If I wanted to go back, I could bicycle there. I don't think I want to drive back there for anything. There's, I got I got my product, the rings. I'm trying to decide on how to handle it. I think I need a three-quarter inch pipe. They want to sell them for 350 for 10 feet and I only need like like five inches. So where am I gonna get five inches? Something to keep an eye out for. Look for opportunities with that because I, I think I know how I want to attempt to uh, mount my little iPod on that on that circle thing. It is a matter of getting it first and then and then deciding whoops deciding uh, after gosh darn it I keep going too too slow and there's traffic behind me it's uh it's, it's challenging just I, I don't like driving at night but uh, I just get caught up in, in things so it's that's a taxi on the right, okay. Uh, Smiths, yes, yeah, Smiths. Okay, I, I'm kind of keeping my my maps, my Google Maps open. I don't. Yeah, okay. It's saying I should take up the left on this on this road next to Smiths, and then a, and then a right further down. So. That's that's uh, what's suggested. I can't just go straight. Oh man, <laughs> if I went straight, it doesn't look too good. Okay, it looks like I'll have some good clearance for taking my right. So Walmart's on my right somewhere, and it suggests I go down. Ah, I see Walmart right there though. I could probably just take the right, right here. Google Maps suggests I go. F further down and it's saying it gets really busy around here with the orange lanes 
Looks like there's a homeless person hanging out in front. It's wonderful. Okay, I can turn this map off. Now, how is this area? This, well, either way, I'm committing to this. I'm going to commit to this area overnight. Sometimes you just have to eat your bad mistakes if that's the case. It's just, it's on the outskirts, it's away from North Vegas. I don't, I never talked to anybody, I didn't see any reports yet. Now I, I would really like to read reports on North Vegas. I didn't see anything. I'm just basing my decision on, oh, it probably says no overnight parking right in that sign. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. There are no mirrors in the Walmart bathroom for some reason. Okay, this is a Rainbow, uh, Las Vegas. It's, it's the western part of Las Vegas and the north northwestern part of Las Vegas it's once again I don't feel very safe here it's it's kind of it's there's just something something about it that's uh, lots of things about it that aren't that aren't right um, they have to have a security patrol that patrols 24 hours a day all right but these guys this, this security patrol doesn't uh, ride around with their lights on the whole time they're actually watching I, I was able to sleep and not be disturbed I kept my windows up all the way so I didn't hear all the noise because people are people are really letting their their light their uh, car alarms go on for an ex extended period of time and there's beeping and there's just yelling and cars going as fast as they could through the parking lot it's quite lawless no it was lawless it's just as orderly but it's just a very aggressive orderliness I, I just don't like it I don't, I don't feel comfortable pulling my bicycle out and just going for a ride around here so you can see there's all kinds of walls all right I need to take a right somewhere smoke ranch I believe it might be the next. Oh, jeez. Okay, S Smoke Ranch and then Buffalo. I'm going to the l nearest library, Smoke Ranch and Buffalo. And, uh, is that the, the even though the Walmart has a library, it's one of the older WalMarts. There's really nowhere to uh, relax, and there's just so much activity this early in the morning. Christmas shoppers, right? Smoke Ranch in Buffalo. So this this part of Vegas, I also am not interested in looking around further. <clears throat> I just as soon get out of it. I just take a little peek and that's it. But uh, I, I just don't know where else to go. I'm doing so much driving. Uh, I really got to apologize for all the driving especially it's such a wear and tear on my car smoke ranch smoke ranch and buffalo so okay I just I'm on smoke ranch so now it's a right on buffalo and then and then the library will be I had to cross the highway actually it's not a very direct route because of having to cross the, the highway you can only cross at certain points so I had to go down quite a ways. Um, yeah, they, they do pack them in. They do pack them in around here, and it's, it's it's very ethnic. I mean, why not? It's it's a hot area. It's, it's it gets very hot in Vegas, so you you're gonna want pe people who can handle this kind of weather will thrive. I've come down just you know because it's only winter. To, only because it's winter time and it's cooler but you know there's people these people a lot of these people around here can handle it year-round and I couldn't handle that Sun so it's more power to them around here I'm not you know you can't be angry at the people uh, by the way the by the way the the culture set up here because they're thriving 
What the heck? Got all kinds of sand flying all over. Okay, buffalo is what I'm looking for. Buffalo. Uh, just to get to that, uh, just to get to that library. It's nice and foggy. Oh my god, this is a rarity. I caught it during the rainy time and fogginess. It's quite a relief. From what normally they experience. Oh, am I going too slow? Whoops. I want to get over here. Oh. Okay, and now down here there's a, a park and then and then the library. There's there's actually there's actually uh, uh, airports or something. Vegas Technology Center. And then there's a park and then there's a library. Um, I should double check. I did have to drive down quite a ways. Okay, I got a ways to go. I'm just starting to pass uh, another airport. I believe it's an airport, maybe it's not. It's okay, it's just a large area for some kind of a company. Some company owns a. The library right here? Really? Okay, I'm gonna guess that this at least has got to be the library. I mean, it's definitely not up at that intersection. Is this the library? Yep, there's stuff. There's the there's the park, and it's of course it's all empty. Ah, that's fine. This is closed. <laughs> so it's it looks like a big library. It's a nice big parking lot. Yeah, Rainbow Library. They advertise on one corner.